So, you know, we're in here sitting in front of all this beautiful vintage gear, and uh, do you think that that is something that a musician needs to come in knowing a little bit about, you know, to be able to say, I want this pan differently, or I want this certain kind of compressor? Is that something that an artist has a responsibility? I don't think so. I, I think they have a responsibility to be able to communicate with me enough mm -hmm. that I know kind of what they want to hear. And, right. But sometimes all that requires is like, we love this record, listen to this. And, and we listen, <laughs> you know what I mean? And then I sure. can figure out, okay, I think the important elements technically are this, this, and this. If you have a band that's coming to you and they say, we can afford to spend a week mixing with you or we can afford tracking for a week, which would you recommend that they spend money on? I think if they're like a, a kind of a complex band compositionally, you know, they've got a lot of color elements they want that they want to create and that kind of thing. I think they should do that themselves. That takes a while. Right. On the other hand, you know, a bluegrass band where they all want to stand around one microphone should probably come in the studio and right. have that sort of quasi on stage feeling and the really good equipment and just capture it. So, you know, if it's the more it's uh, overdubby, I'd say the studio is better for mixing. Right. And if it's the other kind of music, flip it around. So with the advent of more home recording techniques, how important it is, do you think, for people to, you know, come back and do a lot of that in the studio? Or, or are people able to actually get a lot of stuff done in their homes and bring it into you? You know, I think that the sort of incredibly hybrid scene we have now for recording is is kind of perfect. Um, the thing that studios are, are great for, I think, mainly is that it's an official place to go do something, mm -hmm. which has a profound psychological effect. Right. And for some people, it's just great. It just is where they can get their stuff done. The other thing is acoustic spaces. Sometimes you need a room that sounds a certain way that a studio will have and your house won't have. So now the challenge is to find the best combination of elements to make the record for you. And right. that's really a matter of your personality and your budget. Right. But what studios are good at is they're actually really efficient, you know? And what's funny is that there's, I think, in a lot of people's minds, the studios are the places where rich rock stars spent way too much money. <laughs> and, you know, that happened, but that's kind of exactly the opposite of what they're about. They're right. really about efficiency and professionalism.